We continue to uh, track everything that's going on, and not only in Beaumont, where where we have some serious operations taking place for search and rescue and life sustainment. Uh, we we've had a number of evacuations around the Arkema Chemical Plant last night. We proactively were able to evacuate about a mile and a half radius around the Arkema Chemical Plant, for example, to make sure people were safe in, in anticipation of any problems. Um, you know, we continue to push the life-saving operations. Uh, we're continuing to evacuate people out of areas that where the rivers have not receded yet, uh, and in some cases today and tomorrow they may be cresting. So uh, the local government, uh, you know, the impact of where, where the chemical plant is uh, was incredibly proactive in issuing the evacuation warning order. We feel pretty certain that we got you know, uh, the uh, over uh, uh, one mile, one and a half mile radius evacuated out of that area in anticipation. Uh, right now, um, the question is whether or not we can actually get in and assess the, the, the full, full scale of the impacts from an environmental standpoint to infrastructure standpoint. So those are ongoing. In the, in the, in the, in the fumes, it, how, how dangerous are those? Yeah, um, so the bottom line is, is that we do what's called plume modeling. Um, and that's what we base a lot of the evacuations on. And so uh, by all means, yes, the plume is incredibly dangerous.